might be cute and cuddly, but his real life friends have no business being inside your home. Autumn time has arrived, which means mice and rats are on the search for a warm getaway for the winter months. Oh, stop, but what are the telltale signs of the furry arrivals entering your home and how can you prevent them? Well, joining us now with all the answers is Dr. Colin Moore. Morning, Colin. Colin. Morning. It's How lovely to see you, but did you bring any friends with you today? <laughs> There's no furry friends with you. No, only a skull. Good. Oh. Are, are we right in saying, or is it a myth, but are, are we right in saying that, you know, when the weather turns cold, that's when we should be on alert, because that's when they're going to try and get into the house? Not a myth at all. So this time of the year, every year we get a spike in our, in our numbers. So we're over 100% increase in percentage-wise and in terms of call-outs. And they're literally looking to get into the heat. They are, yes. It was a drop in temperature today. Uh, we've had some bad weather, heavy rain. That sort of drives them in. So less food outside, more warmth and okay. uh, nice conditions inside. So what are the telltale signs that we have unwanted visitors in the house? Well, over here we've got different signs. So we've got um, nesting material, we've got damage to, you know, mm -hmm. there could be your, your box of cereal. Yeah. Uh, there's a chocolate bar there, the damage. There's damage on, on wires, just gnaw marks. And the damage we're getting is because these animals here have got um, that's the skull. This is the skull of a rat, and we have the, the teeth of open-ended um, roots. So they continually grow. So they have to they have to gnaw them down to. The to, teeth uh, never stop growing never on a stop rat. Growing, really? No. So they have to gnaw. And that's you learn why, something new every day. Don't you? That's exactly. And that's why you get this. No, they're not eating that. They're they're gnawing. They're filing their teeth down. Basically, filing their teeth down. Right. Okay. So. And in these little bowls here. So this would be uh, mouse droppings, and there are some very desiccated rat droppings. They're normally, okay. if they're fresher, they're much blacker. Uh, but you can see the different size, um, hopefully, that's about six millimetres, they're about 12 millimetres. So, having spotted signs, you think, OK, we might have rats or mice in the garden. They're tricky little blighters to try and pin down, so how do we go about finding them first? Yep. Because you might think, oh, is there a nest of them and they coming from that field, where are they coming from? Well, if they're coming from a field, you, you might see a run, so just yeah. like us, if we're taking the shortcut in the grass, we'll see the same thing for yeah. rats. Um, you can see footprints as well, and we can use tools to as well help us These are very find cool, footprints. by the way. Yeah, so tools. obviously the day the mouse trap is gone. Well, well no, no, no. Oh, still there. Still very much there. But not there. the traditional, yeah. was that not very cruel or what? You... Not quick. It's, oh. Yeah, it's quick. We, we might oh, get yeah. to that. We'll get, we'll get to oh, that. We'll get to that. But this, okay. is how, this is how we track them, isn't it? So this is, this yes. is how we track them. Watch this. So Look on that. this, we've got a, a tracking gel, and you can see footprints then. Um, oh. And you can see where they're going to and where they're coming from. That is gas. Yes. That. Yeah, and then you can get a little bit more sophisticated by, by using something like a thermal imaging camera. So if I pop so if my you hand put your hand down there, there. and you're mimicking, let's say, a rat or a mouse. Well, do your then... best act now. This is going to be the best <laughs> acting you've ever done. So, so that's your hand there in that position. Yeah. Now, when you remove your hand, uh, oh, have you washed your hands today, yeah, Mr. Delaney? That's disgusting. That's my heat map. Oh, it's heat, it's that's not my dry. Heat map. That's your heat map. So that's a very sophisticated so that's way of doing it. So now we've located them, now we know we have mm. them. How do we deal with them? So the, the best thing is to keep them out. So everyone says, oh, you kill them, but first of all, just keep them out. So yeah, okay. don't, don't have um, waste bags around your, your home. Don't yeah. have, you know, a, an old bed or planking, uh, you know, Something sorted up again. shelter Exactly, yeah, yeah. exactly. Okay. And then it's things like, um, this is a, just a little mock-up of an outpipe yeah. uh, from, from an ordinary kitchen. And this gap around there... Is, is something that a mouse they can get or a rat that. could get through. So it would wow, certainly give a rat flexible. purchase to be able to gnaw right, around yeah, it, yeah. but a mouse would get through that. No so you need to go around and just check these pipes, etc. Check and fill them. them. Fill them with, with seal. Yeah, no, the best thing is cement. Silicone or cement. Uh, silicone is good in the sense that you'll be able to see if you've got activity or reactivity, okay. because they'll gnaw through it. Uh, expandable foam, will gnaw, they'll gnaw through that, but it's something like uh, a cement. Uh, right, that's, cement that's what'll keep them out. Okay, mm -hmm. and then, on to Karen's oh, aforementioned nice items. Okay. Yeah. So this is then traps. Yeah, traps and ways of, of killing them. So um, you've got a mouse trap, and these would be rat traps. Uh, various ones, I just went down to the shop and got them. Colin, um, what's this, these over here? So as, as things get a little bit more um, techni techni technological, yeah. these would be sort of a communicative way of us finding out well, what, what's in the box. What's yeah. passing through the box? So this one in particular counts the number of passes that a rat has. <laughs> it will only open when a rat is there, and then they'll they'll be able to feed on the bait. So it's baiting on demand. Almost. It's very. Um... What's the biggest rat you've ever 
Oh, about about 500 fantastic. grams, yeah. So half a, yeah. And in length, big. though. Um, well, they don't get, they don't get too much bigger than people say. There's these giant rats. Yeah, they're yeah. Not, they're not. They're not. They're absolutely not. They'll only be about 500 grams, maybe 300 grams. That's really. big enough. It's Thank big you enough. Very, Colin. Thank you very much for coming. You're here. very Good welcome. And uh, frightening the life out of me. <laughs> right up next, we're talking to Irish acting great Patrick Bergen about a new film festival on Spike Island. Back in a couple of minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you nearly did.